Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead and I'm out in the garage, got the heat going and it's toasty in here. But I am doing a project that I thought I'd bring you along. And uh, so check this out. All right guys, so I got the Predator generator out and I'm gonna do a basic maintenance, take you along with me, show you how to do very, very easy. Uh, what you're gonna need is a 12 millimeter wrench. I have a 10 inch extension here as well, but a 12 millimeter socket. Um, I'm using some 10W30. You'll need a low profile oil pan, so it will slide under there and then a funnel there. And you gotta put your oil in here if you can see, so you're gonna wanna have a funnel funnel that can kind of get in there. Um, but about three or four weeks ago, we lost power and it was really cold. I'm talking single digits teens. Uh, we had a tree go down and take out a uh, power line. So I ran this quite a bit and we are going to do the maintenance on it. All right guys, so if you can see this bolt here, that is where you drain your oil. So I'm gonna slide my oil pan under. I have this kind of uh, uh, oil dry pad here that I put on the ground just to kind of save the floor as much as I can. And so we'll slide the oil pan. But like I said, if you don't have a low profile, it will not fit under there. And there is a bolt on both sides, which I take off. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take out where we put in the oil and check the oil. We're gonna take that off. And I will set that on this rag. Then we're gonna take this bolt out. There is a washer on it as well, so you're gonna wanna keep track of that. There we go. So this is the back side of it here, if you can see. And you can see you have another bolt here. We're gonna pop that out and This is your air filter. So we're just gonna go blow this off. Just blow it off. And the other thing about these two is you can rent, wash them off. So if you wanna wash them off and, and do that. There's also a little screen back here that that sits against. So very easy to put on and, and clean off. So. so let's check our oil. So as you can see, just still trickling out there a little bit. We're gonna let it go just uh, 30 seconds or so more. Okay, so we got our back bolt put in and then I'm gonna put the front one in here. Just wipe that out a little bit, make sure it's cleaned off. Make sure your washer is on there when you put it in. We'll tighten it in by hand, all the way in. Then we're gonna snug it up with our 12 millimeter socket. And there you go, oil is drained out. And then you'll need like a thin funnel like this. This is like a couple dollar funnel at Walmart. Really not a, really cheap and but you need a kind of a thin one and um, right now I have about let's see three and a quarter quarts left in here so I'm gonna put a quart in it takes I believe the actual number is like 1.16 so we'll put a quart in there and get it going a little bit Okay, got a little, about a quart in there. We're gonna check the oil here. See where we're at. 
And then what we do is we'll run it for a, a minute or two, check it again. So we'll check the oil here. Actually, we're pretty full there. <laughs> So let's run this for a minute. Okay, I've been running for about a minute. Shut her down. We're gonna check the oil again. Always make sure you have a lot of ventilation in here. Now my garage is freezing, but <laughs> we are good to go. We are full. So that's how you maintenance the Predator generator. Very easy and quick and uh, hope that helps you. These generators are amazing. I've had uh, my first one I had for three years, lost it in a fire. I uh, love that and I, my dad got me this one after the fire, exact same one as I had before and uh, would recommend this to anyone. So there it is, God bless y'all.